welcome to another session of one question a day we'll see today again on fibers of periodontal ligament the question that we are going to discuss again is principal fibers of collagen principal fibers of periodontal ligament and another candidate's paper we will examine today the candidate has said principal fibers or collagen fibers collagen fibers are of three types type 1 type 3 others type 1 alpha 1 alpha 2 chains with decreased hydroxy proline type 3 20 percentage three alpha chains and increased hydroxy proline others 10 percentage which could be lasting blood vessels or other types such as 4 5 6 8 sorry 7 and 13 they they the collagen groups are arranged in five types of principal fibers they are the alveolar crest horizontal oblique epical interradicular group see how the candidate has put up the chart clearly to say what types the subtype and the diagram and with this diagram the placement is clear alveolar crest group they run from cementum to bone just below the junctional epithelium and they resist intrusive and extrusive forces that is where and function horizontal run horizontally below alveolar group of fibers and resist horizontal forces oblique group of fibers obliquely just below horizontal group of fibers and they are more coronal uh, near the bone and more apical near the cementum and they occupy the two-third of the pdl the most numerous they resist intrusive and extrusive forces apical group of fibrosis of fibers are located in the apical region and run from root tip present only in fully developed tooth and resist luxative forces interradicular group of fibers located in between two roots and resist force of luxations so the clinical significance is alveolar crest fab uh, alveolar crest groups is place important role in orthodontics horizontal group oblique group and apical group plays a very important role in perio and peri apical group in endodontic uh, subject interradicular group fibers resist the force of luxation and is associated directly with oral surgery for exodontia the other types of fibers present are the elastin fibers which may contain mature or immature fibers the mature fibers are the elastin the immature fibers are the ualin and oxitalin elastin consist of spindle shaped cells and present in the walls of blood vessels only in the pdl they consist of elastic core and microfibril spindle shaped central elastic core and peripheral microfibrils ulin ilaulin they are located in the gingival ligaments and have amorphous elastins and microfilaments oxitalin they originate either from bone or symptom and get inserted into the walls of blood vessels having microfibrils reticular fibers or the immature fibers have agrophilic component and lie in the basement membranes Secondary fibers are non-directionally, randomly arranged, newly formed fibers that cannot be characterized otherwise. Clinical significance, as we said, orthodontic treatment, inflammation of PDL or periodontal ligament is, leads to periodontitis and healed by deposition of fibers, fibroblast. And during inflammation, different cells come into action as the first line of defense. So these are the way how which the candidate has attended these questions in a more what is a infographical way stay connected with this channel for another question and another way of presentations happy learning till then